Hi DIY friends, we are getting right into these brand new Dollar Tree hacks today. I hope the weather where you are is improving like it is here because we are diving right into the outdoors. First up, a very simple solar light hack. You all are gonna love this one because you only need a few things, including of course a solar light from Dollar Tree and these beautiful glass beads that they carry too. Also some super glue, of course you can find this at Dollar Tree as well. We're gonna be pairing that with also some hot glue and simply placing these onto the clear plastic parts of the solar light working our way around. Now hot glue is not going to withstand any type of heat because of course it's going to melt. So basically all we're doing here is we are using the hot glue so we can work our way around the solar light but in the end our super glue is what is going to hold these beads onto our solar light long term. So you can see here, I was able to get three rows of those glass beads onto the clear plastic. And why did I do that? Because you can see at nighttime, the beautiful glow that this now gives off. I think it is so, so pretty. You can do this with multiple different colors of glass beads that Dollar Tree carries. I did one all green, one all blue, and then I even did one in multicolors. So, so pretty. I'm also so in love with these brand new solar lights that Dollar Tree is now carrying. They are the flame glow uh, solar lights. I was so excited to come across these. Look how beautiful this is. If you don't have a yard to actually place these in, you can also just put these in a vase. This is perfect for putting on a side table or a patio table outside or even in your home's window. I have so many ideas of how to hack these new solar lights, so make sure to subscribe if you aren't already so you can come back and you don't miss that upcoming video. Similar to the solar lights, Dollar Tree also carries these great LED hanging lamps. They are not solar powered though. They actually have a battery and a switch on the top that you'll flip. And then these beautiful fairy lights turn on on the inside of the light bulb. I thought it'd be fun to also incorporate these glass beads onto the outside of this too to give it a pretty glow once it's finished. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough left of these glass beads to cover the entire light bulb. But if you're gonna do this project, obviously, you wanna work your way all the way up to the top there and cover that all up so you have a really pretty finished look. But this is kind of just an idea. Hopefully it inspires you, but I still love the way that the glass and the lights kind of bounce off of each other to give a nice ambiance. I feel like these planters from Dollar Tree are just genius by themselves. They have a little space in between the bottom of the planter, basically so that you can then slip and slide these right over a railing. And then you have a nice little patio garden that you can create. But I have another idea of how you can use these. And instead of using it with dirt and soil to create your own garden, what if you added ice and created your own sort of patio ice bucket it. These would be great next to a chair so that you could have your drinks readily available. This would be so great for a party too. And then speaking of genius Dollar Tree items, they have these plastic watering balls. I am notorious for killing plants basically just because I forget to water them. So if you can find these and you have trouble remembering to water your plants, grab these. It's so simple. You just fill them with water all the way to the top and then you just simply place them in the soil of your planters, especially hanging plants are the ones I have the most trouble with. They seem to dry out the quickest. So I add these into those baskets and then it simply waters a little at a time as the soil dries up. You can see it will start bubbling and that shows you that the water is now filling your soil. So that gives you a little extra time in case you do forget to water your plants like I do. My next favorite Dollar Tree outdoor item is right off to the side here. They are their citronella incense sticks. These actually work. I finally was able to give these a try and I honestly think these work better than candles. They come six in a pack and it's basically like a giant incense stick. I wanted to show you how to use them though. You can actually use these terracotta pots from Dollar Tree. They have a little hole in the bottom and if you flip them upside down, you can actually insert the sticks of these incense 
incense right down into the middle so they will stand up straight. I had this cute elephant pot that my mom gave me as a gift, so I actually put it down in there to make it a little bit more decorative and it would also kind of help catch any of the ashes that would fall down. And then of course, I am obsessed with Dollar Tree's lighters. I buy several of these at the beginning of the year and they last me throughout the year. And with these, you actually light them. If there's a flame, you actually wanna blow that flame out and it will just kind of smolder and work its way down. And you can see that that it releases that smoke that actually keeps the bugs away. If you can't find the citronella sticks, grab these floating candles from Dollar Tree and one of their glass bubble vases. You want to fill that vase up about three quarters of the way with water. And then I'm going to be adding some lemon and lime essential oils to my water. But Dollar Tree even carries lemon and lime juice that you can use too. I'm also going to add some rosemary down into the water. You can put even lemon and lime slices in the water. And then you can add your floating candle to the top there. Not only is it really, really pretty, but it's also a beautiful bug repellent. These will actually work on windy days too. If you put your water low enough in the vase, your floating candle will float low enough that the sides of the glass vase will keep the flame from blowing out. We deal with mosquitoes here. They are so, so bad. You'll have to let me know if you deal with them too in your area. The more bug repellent we can have around here, the better. Now for a pool noodle hack. I feel like you can use pool noodles for so many different things. We're also gonna grab one of their broomstick handles. We're gonna pair these together. If you're looking for more pool noodle hacks, I have a Christmas video. So I'll link that up in the iCards and down below. So you can go back and check that out if you missed it. This one is for the great outdoors though. We're gonna cut our pool noodle down to about two foot long, remove the sticker. Then we're gonna take our knife and sort of create a small X right in the center and that's where we're going to insert our broomstick but to do that we're also going to use some super glue I'll link this down in the description box below this is great super glue that works with foam and metal and plastic so this is going to hold this hack together we're basically making a squeegee and when you're working with water or anything outside whether it's your garage sidewalk deck patio cleaning things off this kind comes in so, so handy. Literally, you can just swoosh your water right out of the way. And this has worked so, so good for us. And it's so inexpensive and such an easy hack. Have you ever thought to use laundry baskets outside? They are perfect because they're plastic, waterproof. They already have holes in them. Mine, unfortunately, I've had for a long time and there was a little hole in the bottom, but I didn't want to throw it out because it'll still work great for this hack. We're actually gonna use it to store and organize our garden hose. I love this hack, I love this idea because it keeps everything looking nice all together and it's so, so easy. Our garden hose is probably a good 20 foot long, so it holds a pretty big garden hose too. So easy to just coil it up in there, push it up by your spigot and it's ready for the next time you need it. I love this idea of hacking a plastic pot from Dollar Tree. You can also use whatever pot maybe you already have on hand or even a terracotta pot. All you have to do is fill it up with some sand. I like these pots from Dollar Tree because they actually don't have holes in the bottom. You could drill them out if you needed them, but they don't come already with a hole. So none of our sand is gonna fall out the bottom. You just fill it up as much as you can and then you can use it to store your garden tools. It does a couple things. Things. Number one, it kind of cleans it off as you place it in the sand and it also will sharpen those tools for you too. This is another amazing item and find from Dollar Tree. They are called planter trolleys, basically because they have four wheels on the bottom so they can scoot around. Now, of course, they're made so you can put your heavy pots on them and plants on them so you can kind of move them around if you need to but another great idea is to actually take your heavy bags of either soil or tools that you're working with in the garden and you can use it to kind of scooch around and move around instead of lifting everything up moving it over as you are working on your garden 
These plastic toolboxes at Dollar Tree are amazing, so multifunctional, great for outside too. Of course, you can store your gardening tools in here to keep them dry and clean and organized. But what I do is actually love to keep my seed packets in there. Yes, I even get my seed packets from Dollar Tree. And what I do is actually also keep a thing of paper clips in there also from Dollar Tree. I like to do that so that way I can put that onto each packet and anytime I need to access the seeds, I can pop that off, pour out what I need, put a paper clip back on and everything stays nice, clean, organized and being in the toolbox, everything also stays dry. I hope these hacks inspired you. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. I'll have more outdoor hacks popping up on your screen so you can head over and check out those next. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Subscribe if you're new, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.